with the makeup of the beach and the fact that you have so many tourists coming in here, it had to be something uh, that, that, that would get the public's attention. I have to tell you that uh, uh, Raphael Foucault was my favorite. He was the first, but he was also my favorite. Uh, Marcus Giles is another one. He's, he's really was a great ball player. Oh, if I could remember the ball. Well, there was Francoeur, Assault of La Machia. That, that name we always loved because it took up his entire back of his shirt. Um, but there's a number of players that every once in a while you'll see their name and it, it'll bring back some and fond memories. See tomorrow's stars today, and and that's and that's the way we've, it's been, and, and it turned out to be that way. But uh, on that particular night, everyone was so excited to get that that level of a celebrity into this park was really something. And uh, if we could do that more often, I, the excitement would be off the charts. 2008 campaign, and then underwent successful Tommy John surgery by Dr. James Andrews on August the 8th of last year in Pensacola. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Strike three called. Got him looking. Here in the third, the 3-2 pitch. Swung on a chop to the right side. Freddie Freeman will glove it on the backhand. Flips to Cordier, who is there. Over at third base. Jason swings and rifles one fair. The one He swings, guides it on the ground. Behind hands are at short. Flags it up with a throw on a bounce to first. And he got him in time. Defense straight away. 3-2, there's a swing and a line shot. Diving and a catch by Hanser Alberto. He will run to second for a double play. If we win, fine. If we don't win, that's okay too. Because people come here to watch a real baseball game. Real players at this particular level. The history of the Pelicans, uh, you know, goes back to North Carolina. That's where the, 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 most of the team and most of the players came from. And that's, and I think that's where a lot of the camaraderie for not just the players, but for the area came from. Because a lot of people from here used to go and watch them uh, in North Carolina. So if you really want to see where the roots are, 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 have started, go back to North Carolina and bring it on here and you'll see the connection. Uh, the Pelicans organization has been a great organization. Oh, it's a great facility. What made it even better was the, the monitors, the new scoreboard, uh, the new seats that we have out there. The beach area used to be a big burn, and now with it being, it's kind of a party area, you know, it's cool because it's unique to this ballpark and it's unique to that, this market. That's one of the things that uh, the Greenberg Sports Group has really tried to do, is kind of make everything beach theme and kind of, kind of grab that, you know, that beach mentality, bring it, bring it into the ballpark a little bit. That was really cool. The, um, the first one was a really unique experience. I'd never been to an all-star game at any level or been involved in the planning of one. It was really neat to kind of see that through um, from start to finish. Well, I think it says a lot that we've had uh, two all-star games here at the Carolina League. I think everybody would rather um, talk to the different people in the California and Carolina League. They'd like to have it here, um, here in Myrtle Beach every year, as we would too. One of the huge things that we have going on for us is our game day staff. They're probably the biggest asset we have. And it's just, wow, these people are fantastic. They're so nice. And that's because they want to be here. And that's the thing that we try to do is we want everybody to want to be here and have a, have a good time. The Pelicans try to present this as, as a family-style entertainment. And I think, uh, I think they've succeeded. Grandmothers and grandfathers bring, bring their uh, grandchildren with them. And uh, they, they kind of grow up to the day when they themselves can make the trip down here to see baseball. I have fun. If you're not here to have fun and enjoy yourself, you, you need not stop by the guest services. We've been really lucky to have the support from, um, from the, upper, the upper management. It's also you know, a tremendous thing to, to our fans, both our returning tourists who return over and over again every year, and our season ticket holders and our regular diehard fans that they come out and they support the team. Wow, Bruce Dal Canton was one of the um, one of the greatest individuals who's ever come through this uh, this ballpark. And Bruce really helped me gu guide me um, to the different the different things that they needed from us, and and what I could do to you know make myself better as well as um, you know help the players achieve what they needed to achieve. I think this Pelican organization uh, does a lot for the community, whether it's uh, uh, charitable uh, uh, endeavors or 
uh, anything dealing with the public, uh, speaking engagements that the uh, Splash makes or the general manager will make. I think that they have a very nice touch with the community as such. And I think people appreciate that and for that reason like to come to the ballpark too, alongside baseball. Come on out to the Pelicans game. Um, we got, we've got the cheapest ticket in town. You can't play mini golf for that. You can't go to a movie for that. So it's phenomenal. You don't have to be a baseball fan. I think that's the thing that a lot of people don't realize coming in here that we've got so many other things going on um, that even if you're not a, not a baseball fan, it's still